Thank you for joining us for a look at Code 3's all-new CD5051 LED light head. This innovative, sleek little guy is an ultra-thin design for today's modern vehicles. So for those of you in public works, emergency management, fire and rescue, law enforcement services, we have these available in solid colors and dual color formats. Solid colors are available in the four primary colors, amber, blue, red, white, and in the dual colors, we have such options as red, blue, red, white, blue, amber, and several others. Inside of this multi-purpose light head, designed for 12 to 24 volt electrical systems, you will find in dual, total of 18 diodes, nine of each color for a maximum intensity and footprint fill. In the solid colors, nine diodes only is how this will be arranged. The light head is a directional output and it is a polycarbonate front lens and polycarbonate backing. Wiring from the CD5051, it's roughly a seven inch pigtail, is five wires. Ground, two leads, which is the red, the white, Blue, when momentarily applied to a ground source, is a pattern change. 18 flash patterns available in the solid color, 36 available in the dual color, and synchronization, that's the fifth wire. So the CD5051s can talk to themselves as well as Code 3's other excellent LED light heads. Mounting can be done in one of three different ways right out of the package. You can surface mount it, so find a spot, two pieces of hardware and the center hole to run the wiring through. Way number two, I like how Code 3 has done this with these little offset tabs. It includes a pair of them. So on the back of the light, there is a set tab which locks this into place so it doesn't walk about. You have a screw that goes to the inside of it to cinch it down. And the outer portion here, well, that's where you add your own hardware for bolting it on. The other way that you can add this and number three of the mounting options is with these neat little L brackets. So like the offset, you get two of these with each light head, goes onto it on the back in the appropriate spot, and this gives you a nice fixed point with a center hole to add this onto the vehicle. It's designed as an exterior light, but that doesn't mean that you can't bring it onto the inside. So these can be nice when adding it onto the door trim or affixing this from the rear window or the interior on the rear hatch of an SUV. Let's bring some life to this little guy, blind out the camera crew. Common ground to the black. Flip the switch back here and start off with red to power. And again, 24 volt, this can go up to. Dual color in the brilliance of red and blue. A nice pop with all nine diodes in those colors for that full impact. Flash pattern adjusting. In this case, we have a total of 36 to go through. We'll just do a few of them. Blue, momentary to a ground, so not going to a positive source. What I wanted to see, what I wanted you to look at as well, these can isolate the colors. Just because it's a dual color doesn't mean it always has to flash that way. Flipped it over, red, red only. There are a multitude of solid color flash patterns. Continue to go through, further adjustments it makes. And back into the provisions of dual color. Same thing, it'll switch over to blue, latch in, and you can take advantage of blue color only. The second trigger, and this allows you to have mode number two for a warning scheme, or in the case of introducing white into the dual color, Steady burn for illumination. White wire applied to power, common ground, blue, blue is the only thing flashing away. Patterns can be set independently between the two, so that is a nice thing as well when it comes to vehicles, one color versus dual color. So give an example here, kind of my thought on these. Rhythm like this, nice and slow. Works great for a vehicle in a parked position. Switch that over into the red trigger wire. Great for flashing in position number three. Slide switch, red up to number three, kick it down. That's where the white and white only would then latch into your electrical system. Or illumination, 
tie that into the reverse trigger, your alleys, your takedowns, your rear deck lights, or its own switch, however you want to wire it up. The bright output of the Code 3 CD5051 light head shining through. Single colors, multicolor formats, that's available for you to select from. In a vehicle, positioning is up to you, of course. So the bracketry, three different ways out of the package. But in this case here, we've mocked it up, taking advantage of a nice crevice between the bumper and basin of the taillight. So whether it is straightforward mounting on your vehicle or trying to get this tucked and hidden away, essentially disappearing when not on, well, that's that decision's up to you with the mounting. I'm Chris, thanks for joining me here on Siren Net Television, and remember, if you like, enjoy what you're watching and seeing with us, make sure to subscribe. We'll see you next time.